Greetings, Twin Flames. This is part two of the weekly reading for Tuesday, January 23rd through uh, Saturday, or Sunday, I'm sorry, January 28th, 2018. So sorry about the disruption. I've been wanting to put these messages out and they keep getting interfered with and I don't understand why, but I will say that my beloved and I were supposed to be getting together like three times in the last two weeks and there was, or four times, but there was interference. So I feel like when we're really close to union, these kinds of things happen. And I apologize for it, but I'm being very authentic here by sharing that with you and also sharing that, you know, I'm putting this video out in parts because the video just stopped and it's because I've been trying to record it like six, seven, eight times already and getting the same messages. So I do want to say thanks for watching part two here. If you haven't seen part one, that's where the good union energy was showing up, the 1111 card. Um, but it was a really good and positive reading for this upcoming week. So we're looking at, we looked at divine masculine 5D and 3D energies. So their soul and heart are trying to tell them that things that they were letting control them in the past are interfering with their present and future love life and with their journey with their beloved twin flame so their 3d so their mind their ego is trying to learn to trust right now um it says here the situation is calling for you to have faith so basically this is showing that because the divine masculine is going to start trusting they are allowing for that union to come through as well all right, so now we're going to choose a 5D message from the Romance Angels regarding the energy of the Divine Feminine for this week. Divine Feminine 5D is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So that's the soul energy or the heart energy. It could be that it's a new person and it is your twin, or it could be a new person as a catalyst, but I believe this to be just a new energy that has sparked up within the twin, within the divine masculine, and it looks like a new person almost because they're going through this powerful transformation and they have been transforming through this whole entire journey. The 3D energy for the divine feminine is finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So getting those things straightened out would be a good way to attract the union energy to the divine feminine. We'll look at the union energies, 5D and 3D for both twins. 5D is passion. So on the other planes of existence, which are different dimensions, the higher dimensions in 3D, your soul, along with your beloveds, is passionately allowing your hearts and souls to sing with joy. So basically, you're enjoying this connection in other dimensions, but in the 3D, it's very dense here. We have all these obstacles and blockages and things preventing us from coming into full union. So let's see what the 3D energy for this week is. Separation. Well, time apart from your partners on the horizon. So in the 3D, there may be time apart, but if you embrace that properly, remember the outcome of the tarot reading, which I really believe in tarot to be more truthful than the romance angel cards, to be honest. Oracle cards um, never give me the complete truth. Um, the four of wands is the energy of the upcoming week. So if you embrace this energy that you are in union, even if your 3D looks like you're separated, you will be transcending to higher levels of consciousness and that is what is called for on this journey that is where you need to be in order to manifest your union to believe that you already have it and to know that you deserve it and to embrace it and to claim it and to commit to it and to not let anything get in your way and just to believe that you and your beloved are connected at these other higher levels and dimensions and if you really believe that and you really feel it in your heart space and if you really start to, you know, complete your work of clearing out all the old baggage with this full moon coming up, 
well, then you're going to manifest your union this year. Okay, so you need to believe it, and then it will be. Okay, the law of attraction is ask or state what you have. Believe that you have it. Receive it, so allow it to happen. Remove all the obstacles to, to having it, and then be grateful for it. So if you can get in the grateful um, for this journey vibe, grateful for having a connection with your beloved at all vibe, you're going to be really close to having your union in the physical. If not having it, you can manifest it instantly if you believe. Okay, so we're going to end this reading with the two polarity messages, one from Kuan Yin, our divine feminine goddess. She says, your enlightened heart, the wish of the divine mother is that you become free. Enlightenment is a culmination of many small steps, each one as a drop of water forming a divine ocean of peace, realization, love, and unity within, an ocean that washes away fear the opposite of love, separation and scarcity and bathes us in abundance and bliss. You carry the torch of enlightenment within your heart. Let it shine. Let it shine and then there will be no separation and you will have your union. And we have Archangel Michael giving us a similar message. Decide to be happy now. Decide to be in union with yourself and with your creator, with the universe, with your beloved now. Archangel Michael, thank you for helping us open our hearts to happiness, joy, and bliss. We are now willing to see all of the goodness in our lives. When you're, again, happy for all the goodness in your life, then you can allow more in because you're attracting that beautiful abundance to you. And as I'm saying this, I'm sending you some Reiki healing energy for both yourself, your beloved, and your divine union so that it may manifest in the third dimension and all levels of your being. So if you receive that, say yes now. Remember, this is a yes. All right, so I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope you get both parts of this message. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.